10 of the most disgusting candies ever made. Number 10. Earwax Candy Unfortunately, this candy is exactly what it sounds like. A realistic looking plastic pink ear that has been filled with sticky orange jelly like candy. The sticky orange jelly represents the ear wax and complete with this candy comes a plastic swab that you use to dig it out of the ear. There is a cover that pops open to give users access to the ear wax and to close to keep it fresh. The taste is fruity but somehow we just can't get over the fact that it resembles ear wax and we are digging it out of a very real looking ear. We're just thankful they didn't go one step further and make the ear in a color that made it even more real. Number 9. Lick Your Wounds Candy Scab These candy scabs are two parts. First, there is the adhesive plastic bandage that sticks to your skin. Secondly the bandage opens up with a flip compartment to reveal a realistic looking scab. The scab is the candy, perfect for licking and saving for later when you close back up the compartment. Refills of the scabs are included in the box. To sum it up, eating this candy is like licking your own scab. The taste isn't horrible but the thought is. Number 8. Chaka Kaka This loaded candy is not so much a candy but a chocolate surprise but is so gross that we couldn't help but include it. Chaka Kaka is real diapers that hold a brown chocolate turd inside shaped like a turtle. First of all, how about we not go around giving people real diapers with realistic poop inside? Secondly the instructions on the box state to microwave the diaper for a few seconds and then enjoy eating the gooey chocolate mess made inside. How is that for literally eating crap? Number 7. Potlix Insect Candy The original edible insect candy creator could simply not be left off this list. From chocolate tipped scorpions to insect brittle to suckers that feature ants, crickets, worms and more, this company was one of the first to take gross to a new level. The inspiration behind the company comes from the owner who took inspiration from tequila that was served with a worm. He also happens to eat insects on a regular basis. These candies won't harm you and if you can get over the fact you're crunching on a worm, they aren't in fact as gross tasting as you might think. But it's up to you whether a scorpion sliding down your throat grosses you out or not. Number 6, Jane Jane Tasty Tuna Tidbits These brightly colored foiled candies are quite deceptive and they look like something you might see in your grandma's candy bowl, but don't let them fool you. These candies are made from tuna as the main ingredient, followed by a whack of chemicals and sugar. The taste we imagine is like sucking on a dried tuna fish that has been processed and packaged and sat on the store shelves for an undetermined amount of time. One Asian food market describes the taste as natural, healthy and fresh after boasting a shelf life of 12 months. Number 5. Bean Boozled Jelly Beans Jelly Belly has produced a package of jelly beans so gross and horrid that we actually almost threw up reading about them. The worst part is, these mixed packs of jelly beans look so similar in appearance you have no idea if you are biting into a bar flavored bean or a peach flavored bean. Jelly Belly calls the flavors weird and wild, but we prefer disgusting. Flavors include canned dog food, rotten eggs, stinky socks, booger, moldy cheese, barf, baby wipes, skunk spray, lawn clippings and toothpaste. Millions of yucks and counting is the motto of this brand and we have to add one more yuck from us. Number 4. Sour Candy Liquid Urine Samples What we think is the absolute grossest candy on our list in terms of concept is the Sour Candy Liquid Urine Samples. The concept may ring funny for lots of people. Pee is one of the human bodily functions that people love to joke about. Common jokes include guys relieving themselves in a pop container and leaving it so the next guy comes and take a swig out of it. Men spelling their names in the snow and everything else funny about pee. But is this over the top? Caps complete with screw-on lids and sterile stickers full with bright yellow sour liquid. The bright yellow liquid is perhaps the only unrealistic thing about this candy as it looks like the patient is severely dehydrated. Number 3. Chili Licks Pepper Shaped Lollipops This is just one of those candy creations we truly don't understand. Lollipops that are shaped like jalapenos and chili peppers and actually taste like them. Not for the faint of heart. These suckers are burning hot with a taste that rings true to its name. Why anyone would want to suck on a jalapeno pepper sucker for any amount of time is beyond us. Available in habanera, jalapeno and sugar-free chili flavor, we can only assume people purchase these as a sick Halloween joke. Number 2. Mini Blood Bags They may taste like cherry or strawberry but that is the only thing this candy has going for it. The mini blood bags are exactly as they sound. Realistic looking blood bags that are normally reserved for giving people blood. Instead this candy encourages people to suck the blood right out of these bags. 
complete with a label that includes blood type, donor name and date of expiry. This is perhaps too real. Fortunately these blood bags are mainly marketed for the Halloween season but available to purchase year round. We don't know about you but we would be pretty grossed out to see a kid walking down the street drinking out of a blood bag in the middle of the summer. Number 1. Hose Nose Candy Hose Nose Candy is two parts. The first is an awfully ugly nose mask that fits over your own nose. The second is the slimy candy that runs out of the mask and you catch with your tongue. Yes this is a replica of a snotty nose and it encourages you to eat the snot. We aren't sure which is grosser. The fact that you have to wear the mask or that you actually catch the slimy snot with your tongue. The slime is green in color with an apple taste while the nose mask looks like it is either covered in warts or pimples. If you don't feel like eating your snot but just wearing the mask, don't fear there is a bright red cap that traps your snot inside.